Hello and welcome to the MuleSoft screencast on using our new TCAT Maven archetypes. These are two projects that we just completed which are a refresh of the most used Apache web application archetypes. The ones at Apache are falling a little bit behind in terms of their Maven technology and in terms of the third parties libraries that they're currently using. We saw this as an opportunity to write some documentation around how to use this the URL showing up there on your screen, as well as freshening these archetypes that really have a value add to anyone in the Maven build and Tomcat usage communities. So here we go, let's get started with using those. So at the command line, type mvn archetype colon generate dash d archetype catalog and then a URL. This URL points Maven at a very specific catalog file that's hosted at the MuleForge repository and it tells it where these archetypes and all their dependent artifacts live. Some of those on the MuleForge site, some of those coming from Apache Central. Now once this archetype generate warms up, looks at that class catalog there, we get two choices. We probably will expand this in the future. The two that you see right now are a JSP based web application and that one's simply called Tomcat Web App Archetype. The second one being a Wicket Web Framework derived example, Tomcat-Wicket-Archetype. So you choose the integer, number one or number two. We're going to start with the first option, the JSP based example, and go from there. The first thing that we're prompted for is the group ID, the Maven group ID, and we can come up with something crafty like com.mulesoft and then add a logical appendix to that samples. The artifact ID is specifically what is this project and for the sake of this walkthrough today, sample JSP web app seems like a very good idea. It prompts us for a default version, 1.0 snapshot looks acceptable. And what would we like for the Java package name? Com MuleSoft samples looks good there as well. Answer yes if everything that we see is to our liking. And the project is then built for us in a brand new directory. We can CD into that directory and now take a quick look at the files that were generated for us. We see an index.jsp, we see a web.xml, and we see an integration test, hence the suffix it, in the test directory. That will be run at the time that the war is produced and installed into a local hosted copy of either Tomcat or Tcat. Now we switch over to our Tomcat directory, if it's not already running. In this case, I'm running the MuleSoft Tcat derivative, and we'd start it up like we normally would the web container. We can use the Catalina with the start and stop commands, or we can specifically say startup.sh. Nice and running, switch over to the web browser just to confirm that that's good to go. Over here, there is the Tcat console, looking good, ready to go with that. And once we verify that's all in place, we can leave Tomcat or Tcat running for the remainder of the integration tests that we want to run. Next up, let's take a look at the contents of the pom.xml just to familiarize ourselves with how this integration test is actually going to work. We've got a binding of the Tomcat Maven plugin to some specific Maven life cycles. The pre-integration test phase has a redeploy goal, so that sends the finished war to our local Tomcat or Tcat container. And at the end, post-integration test, we do an undeploy just to clean everything up and leave it in a pristine state. For actually executing the integration test, we use the failsafe maven plugin, and you see that we have the integration test goal set up there. We're assuming some of the default configuration uh, inherited from the super pom, which nicely says that anything that begins or ends with IT is assumed to be an integration test and thus is run in this phase. If I remind you of the contents of the directory again, you can see that we have a JSP integration test that will be run as part of this lifecycle. So if we do an MVN install, which is a pretty late lifecycle to invoke, it finishes the war and does the build and asks for integration tests, you'll see that it'll compile, do the usual steps of a web application, but it also ran the unit tests. Now I know those screamed by just a little bit fast there on the screen, so we'll scroll up and take a look at these various steps. We'll see the deployment of the web application to the local Tomcat container, 
and we'll see that the unit tests did, in fact, successfully run. And once finished, you can see that we also undeployed the application from the same location, just to leave things in that known clean state. There's the undeploy highlighted right there. And at the end, since all the integration tests passed, build success, we have a successful web app with sample integration tests. In closing, I'd like to tell you that the source code for all this is, again, open source, and in fact, hosted up at github.com forward slash MuleSoft forward slash MuleSoft dash Maven dash archetypes. So if you have any additional contributions, updates, additions that you'd like to make to these archetypes, feel free to fork it up on GitHub and then send us patch contributions and pull requests to integrate those new ideas that you put into place. Throughout this screencast, I've used MuleSoft's TCAT server. The enterprise's best Tomcat derivative allows for centralized management of web applications distributed all via a nice unified console. So I found that very beneficial in my practice, and this was the inspiration for updating these web application archetypes for Maven. Give it a try, URL there on the center of your screen. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.